Welcome friends to our NPTEL MOOC module on Health Economics. We are discussing here uh, the lecture on Health Data Handling Packages. Those are licensed. Okay, so, the licensed one largely are here. This one, this one, this one. Okay. So, but we will be sticking to this one and its explanation and especially in the last lecture we discuss about open source data package emphasize or discuss python and also r and also we have shown you what are the other uh, important software available uh, the learning goal in this lecture is to introduce you to you know spss as well as data which are largely uh, used by scholars for the data handling purposes. So, I have already shown you that the software available for data processing most uh, frequent used by scholars are these two SPS and Stata and I will refer the hands on uh, materials to you how you can also go through it and uh, practice for your own research work and these are considered to be good and Strata is considered to be very good so far as graphics is concerned and coming to the cost uh, SPS is more expensive than that of Strata. However, since even if it is these are uh, paid versions, uh, you can get the you know sample copy for one week by registration from the sources and here we will start with explaining SPSS that is a popular program for statistical analysis. SPSS stands for statistical package for social sciences and hence uh, this is called SPSS. And in 2009, SPSS was uh, purchased by IBM. Uh, its proper name is now called IBM SPSS statistics. The data in SPSS is saved in the format called dot .sav. Okay. So, how it looks like? It looks like the excel page though on its um, uh, data entry segment. However, it is suggested to enter your data using this window then that of excel because this also gives you uh, the better window uh, in terms of entering the qualitative variables. The first line is actually called title bar as is visible from here and uh, the second one is called main menu bar and the third one is called toolbar. So, on the bottom you see that IBM SPSA statistics processor is ready. This is called status bar. There are two uh, view mode to SPSS. One is called uh, data view which I have already started discussing and uh, data view looks like the spreadsheet each row uh, one participant and each column one variable and the variable view uh, uh, the second one here it is visible if you open you will find uh, in spss only if you ensure as access you can also request ensure to go for purchasing it since this is useful software variable view gives uh, sub categories about the variable it divided into other uh, sub categories like its name, type, width, decimal, label, values, missing columns uh, and align, measure and role etc. These are all given here. Name, then type, width, decimals, label, values, missing columns, align, measure and role. Most importantly, we type the name here of the variable, then you specify what the width of that variable, which character type is it string or numeric, okay. Then does it have uh, decimals, then the details about that variable you can just write it here. Like we say funding, you are writing healthcare funding from this period, this is simply called label, okay. And others are uh, not that important, but whenever you start uh, using it, you will find the differences. 
in variable view window each of the sub category has features and listed below variable name no, no space should be given no special character or symbol fast character cannot be a number and must be unique within the data set hence the variable view you should not actually use this space in it has to be consecutive you can just see it has to be consecutive or special character etc should not be written if you want to clarify you can just write down in this box all details okay then variable type whether it is numeric whether it is comma dot scientific notation data dollar string custom currency restricted numeric etc uh, then width can be specified maximum characters allowed for each response it is called the width and uh, width about the variable actually decimal number of decimal places uh, for numeric variables then label basically uh, you can write it down the name of that variable here you can use uh, your uh, anything maybe space maybe special character just if whichever is suitable to you, you can write down the label a label actually as i told you label clarifies about the variables then values list of uh, valid options for the variable if it is um, like here i'll just show you values at this moment we have entered as none but actually like if you have a categorical you know, variable you can enter its 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 values okay whether it is one if it is rural or urban then it is one or two then you have to define that within this there will be you no know, options you can just click and it, it gives direction for entering the codes and its clarifications. Then with values I have already mentioned, missing value, uh, value being used when response is not applicable or, or not answered. Align the data, uh, whether the data should be left or right align. Measurement in scale or nominal ordinal etc. Then these specifications are, are clear. I am sure we can able to clarify when not uh, expli explaining each of them and uh, if you want uh, you can also follow my own module earlier uh, it is these are all available in YouTube you will find out further details like data modification CSPSS how to do it uh, data modification include uh, recoding the existing variable or computing new variable or selecting cases from data file or splitting data files into groups uh, like recoding you know uh, existing variable in that case it might be recoding into same variable with the same name label with new values then original uh, data lost and advice not to use if it is of uh, the same name then if it you are re recoding into different variable then values added to file with a new new name a new you uh, know uh, variable is created then it retains the original as well as new now let us see what are uh, the steps for uh, recoding into different variables you can just see it you have to go to transform on the front page itself so uh, they are simply you just click transform we have return it carefully uh, carefully click here on transform and then then it will display recode into different variable and it will uh, open a new window and the new window uh, gives the um, you know um, window like this it gives like you know the small window and displayed with a small window like new variable to output variable if any if you are giving then um, then in that case uh, the selected variable uh, like you know choose the variable uh, from the this list once you see the list here you just select which one you want to record okay or transform then uh, the selected variables will be will actually move here once you click here it it will move here earlier it was there we, if you click here it will actually move to this side otherwise there will be this kind of arrow if nothing is available in this window okay so once it is there then you can name that new variable and the label can be specified 
Okay. Label means the meaning of that variable. In short, you have to write down the variable name. Then uh, in long words, you can also write down the label of that variable. Then um, similarly, if you want to change this course, uh, old code to new code, you want to combine some code and make a aggregate, you know, uh, variable like India, you know, states are there. There are different states are there. Out of that, you wanted to divide into northern states and southern states. So, from that variable, you can actually uh, find out uh, or change uh, the values of the entries of the northern or, or the southern. We, you can just see here. So, new and old variable and optionals are given. If you click on the now it, it, it gives range etc and values uh, since it is categorical uh, either you want to just enter all the states into one or two based on north and south then accordingly you have to define. So, range you can specify and based on that like here uh, in an example given 30 through 45 one code is given 46 to 62 code is given. Similarly, if, if you want to say 1, 5 then even through uh, lowest value through any number if you just add 1 till 10 it should be 1 then 10 to 15 should be 2 then and so on if you wanted to make it correctly and you know the you know uh, state codes correctly then you can assign only into binary numbers ok. This is what is given you can uh, use it alright then you are simply supposed to add it. Then finally, if you continue click on continue that variable with the uh, new code will, would have generated. Compilation of variable can also be done using transform command. To transform command uh, just through the command on the uh, window we can also transform it instead of putting clicks on that button steps or some other uh, SPSS computations, the main menu we will analyze then choose the analysis such as frequency, descriptive analysis, cross tabulation, then you know, we can analyze the inferential statistics such as regression, regression analysis and this executions etc. We can do it. In the main window after transform you will see analyze there are so many analysis possible but the if you are interested in regression analysis or inferential statistics you have to click here otherwise for the basic frequency distribution etc descriptive statistics is more than enough ok and uh, within uh, descriptive statistics you just see it has frequencies descriptives explore cross tab etc and a regression window and the result uh, obtained in the result window is illustrated below. If you are going through a regression analysis, you have to define the dependent variable on the window and the set of um, independent variable. Okay. Here we have um, derived uh, the dependent variable, we have mentioned the variable, um, dependent variable is health and uh, then other variable like elderly etc we, we are just taking I will tell you just now as per the window ok. Similarly other if you click on statistics then plot for diagram etc for graph etc you will get so many other directions for analysis ok. Here the predictors are actually uh, elderly and I think it is possible to derive and if you have any queries I will certainly address it in our query class. Let us move to another uh, statistical software called Stata. Uh, Stata is well, I have used number of times in my earlier modules uh, that is uh, another NPTEL module of mine is also floated during the same time it is available for registration at this moment that is called uh, survey data. Survey data in on healthcare okay. uh, using uh, analysis of survey data in healthcare. 
that is another module if you see we have discussed about uh, the different available survey data then we have also used statistical packages like Stata etc. So, Stata is a you know uh, complete integrated statistical uh, software package that provides everything you need for data analysis, data management and graphics. So, as per their uh, definition of Stata itself in 2016, the name Stata is a syllabic you know abbreviation of the word statistics and data. Official site is available here for you to download. Uh, the student or instructor for short term license request can be also given in this link. Okay. Different versions of Stata are available for work. I will just clarify which are those versions. One is called st standard version of Stata. Usually, this handles very less variable, only 2048 variable out of which uh, 798 should be at maximum independent variables at a time and 2 billion observations. Whereas, uh, in case of special edition, Stata can uh, special edition version can handle 32,767 variables, 10,000 independent variables and 2 billion observations. This allows longer string variables and larger matrices as well. Stata uh, MP version that is also called multi processor or multi core version. Mm, I will also simultaneously show you uh, how it looks like if I open a Stata version in front of you. Uh, the best one is in fact called MP version or the multi processor or multi core version. It handles up to 1,20,000 variables, 65,532 independent variables, and 10 to 20 billion observation. observations are covered. So, uh, this is how Stata looks like. I am just going to show you how it actually looks like. So, I have opened the Stata. I hope it is partially visible to you. It is very difficult to um, make the screen big. However, I am just uh, uh, showing you the, the actual window. I have opened Stata uh, of my own version. Uh, so, you can uh, see how you can work. Mm, okay, so oh, I will just guide you. What are those uh, different? This is the main window, and this side, this side here is the result window. The this side is the result window. I'll, I'll show you. And right hand side uh, are the variables and its properties window. Left hand side is preview window, and the bottom line is actually command window. Otherwise, it has also files uh, and edit data, graphics, etc. I will come to it one by one. Uh, okay. So, Stata user interface is I have just written all those details. What is called red result window, then what is called uh, review window, and what is called uh, command window and what is variable window and its you know properties. This side are their main main menu, these are their toolbar. Okay. One of the important aspect since uh, with this uh, NPTEL health economics course does not uh, give you know, enough space for explaining the very basics of Stata etc. You can follow our module, um, you can search handling handling large scale data, scale data, course of this, this is my course where I have given in one week I have step by step guided you um, about data. Okay, so, at this moment it is very difficult to explain given the time constraint. Uh, if you still miss here then uh, you can also follow my another module called survey data in healthcare, survey which I just mentioned survey data on healthcare. Okay. okay. So, one tip is there, uh, description of each menu uh, and simply point over each icon can also give you uh, further details as well. Start a main menu bar, 
I will tell you how it, these are there. File, edit, data, graphic. I think I have already shown to you just now. Okay, so so not explaining much of it. Uh, I think we should go through. And uh, I'm just showing you for your interest only. If you uh, open our um, respective module, uh, you will be benefited. So here uh, we can. Um, in, in, in this is the command side where we can type the command and um, and since strata is actually a command driven package and uh, it has also drop down menus like from this side if you click here click there okay, you will get drop down menus just to click and find the uh, result based on the variables and data okay this is what is called co the command box uh, and this is the menu bar and the toolbar then estimation and modeling stata in the third lecture of this unit uh, we discussed about the linear and nonlinear regression modeling okay and uh, i am just giving you a glimpse of how uh, stata works how beautiful this software is i think uh, it might still preserve your uh, interest in this lecture here i am just giving you uh, the answer uh, one model i'll just simply run but in the third lecture particularly we will clarify the concept what is this uh, econometrics modeling hmm. so at this moment i am giving you just one uh, one one answer based on my own uh, you know database which i have been working so it's it's on uh, nature of treatment uh, the data is taken from national sample survey okay uh, data uh, so and uh, uh, where the the latest round on healthcare is considered okay so and then the variable of interest for us uh, to explain is nature of treatment which is in you know binary form traditional versus modern treatment if somebody is suffering with some ailment, then the person takes uh, the help of a different method of treatment. Those may be traditional or modern. Hence, we have categorized them into binary you know, forms. For this purpose, we are using the sample, as I just said, the latest round of NSS. It's called NSS 75th round. Okay, and the previous round you can also cross check. That is 67th round. Okay, uh, sorry, 70th, 70th round. Okay on healthcare and uh, if you want to uh, check uh, some comparison for your work but here i am just giving you the result the nss 73 round which was conducted in uh, 2017 18 this is for the pan india level the dependent variable is a dummy one as i just said we have uh, mentioned traditional versus uh, modern and categorized into traditional and modern treatment a mixture of qualitative and quantitative variables are used as regressors for the analysis. So here are here is the complete model regarding formation of this model and dependent and independent variable and its conceptions etc. We will make it in the third lecture. Okay. So here the code for the dummy variable dependent model is one if modern medicine is used and zero if traditional medicine is used. And the independent or the control variables we have taken are these all continue some of our continuous variables, some of our dummy variables, and some of our categorical variables. These all variables are taken in that model, and here is that model specification. So, why is your traditional medicine versus modern medicine? Then household size, a square, sector, and uh, Mm, you know it's a conditional variable is taken and uh, subject to the reference category it says gender uh, public versus private has hospital access etc all all are taken let's see how it works in stata uh, I'll, I'll just tell you mm, i'm going to just show you how it actually works okay so here is my window i what i did it actually i have uh, opened the data set, uh, the refined data set of National Sample Survey 75th round. 
and here I have loaded it in my computer. This is uh, you will learn from my module what is called do file and this is how the do file I have opened. I will just run this uh, regression model uh, based on my data. I will copy this. I will copy the first command. This is the command. I will just tell you how it works. This is if I apply the ordinary uh, least square method on the uh, model, even if the dependent variable is you know a dummy categorical, I am using the uh, you know, uh, OLS method that it will also display result, but it may not be uh, you know robust. You can enter, we will just simply enter and now results are actually displayed. Okay. So, you can see number of uh, observations and yeah, it is F statistics, it is R square, um, the model is derived. I cannot interpret much because of the time constraint. I, as I told you, these are available already step by step and it is interpretation in my the, um, NPTEL course on uh, module on survey data on health care. Let us go through it. And the second command I will just run. Since the first command we have treated as ordinarily square regression, even if our dependent variable is um, you know, dummy, which is which should not be done, that is an error. Now we are actually running one of the appropriate manner till the till the uh, uh, yes. So we'll take uh, another uh, you know, regression which is most fitted, considered to be most fitted since a limited dependent variable model. I, I have just started running it. Now, this is more important than that of the fast model now, because you know this is a better fit since that uh, you know, dependent variable is limited categorical and I will th this is how it looks I have, I have tried my best just to show you how our results look like since we do not have much time I think it is better to you know proceed uh, from the uh, regression you know coefficients etc. we can easily interpret uh, and then num it is a significance etc. The interpretation is very difficult when our dependent variable is categorical. Okay. Similarly, uh, but in the logit model, the second one we have actually derived the logit coefficients, uh, coefficients where uh, with the p values we can interpret very correctly. Okay. So, better not to spend much time, I am referring my lecture and uh, going to uh, explain the other things. So, this is how it works. I am sure uh, I am not justifying much at this moment. Therefore, I am referring to my previous refer to NPTEL modules, modules by okay, we have explained in detail. So, I am sure you will get it. So, what to conclude then? Um, we are saying that there are uh, powerful uh, you know, data you know, packages are available and since they are paid uh, used to be very work friendly. Both SPSS data can be helpful in various health and healthcare analysis. Moreover, econometric software are important tool for analyzing inferential statistics of the model. However, understanding of the data is, is most crucial. Like in our example, when we just run an OLS regression, uh, we actually uh, uh, you know followed um, uh, OLS follows a you know t t assumption called linearity. Okay, uh, uh, but uh, the results obtained are not that good because of you know we have simply gotten average figures. However, when we apply the better uh, model, appropriate model called binary response model that is logit at this moment I run. There are in fact other um, important you know, models I had, but because of time positive I am not doing it. So, hence the type of data available has direct implication on model specification and estimation approach. Obtained will also clarify in our lecture number third. So, what uh, we will do it in the next lecture that is on public health system and policies. Okay, so, these are the reading I hope even our own NPTEL module this link is given for your reference. I hope you learn the best if still you are having some trouble uh, we are there to support through our query lectures. Thank you let me stop here.